Kane, so one month down, how are you feeling? How's, how's the fitness levels and, and how's pre-season been for you? I'm probably, I feel the fittest I've probably ever had. Um, training's been very intense with the boys, um, but I'm settling in well. I, um, we're, I'm obviously staying with, staying with Nathan and that, so I'm settling in, everything's going good. In terms of the fitness levels, do you think that's because you're now in a programme that's actually testing you? Yep, and even in the gym, we've got like individual programmes around the gym. So I'm feeling stronger and that, even like my leg power, my jumps and that, they're all improving as the week's going. So I'm feeling good. How do you feel amongst the, the group? How are the dynamics going? Uh, the good set of boys in the change room actually. Um, it's quite varied obviously with in and, like, nationalities and age-wise and that, but everyone gets on and everyone has a good laugh. You've been handed the captain's armband a few times this season. Is that something that you immediately were sort of aware of or have you kind of grown into that role? Um, well, as a, as a centre back, you kind of need to be loud on the pitch. Um, so it's something I've always I've always done. Um, I've been camp captain at previous clubs and that. So when I got handed it, it was obviously I was obviously proud of myself and that. But I just need to go on the pitch and do the same job with what I've been doing. And how are you getting on with, with the other defenders around you? Johnny Mitchell being one of them. Your fellow, your fellow Scott, how, how's the relationship yeah, there? Yeah, I actually feel that the relationship between the both of us has has grown as the games go on. So hopefully that can stay as strong as it's been. And in terms of the coaching staff, Neil is his, his first go here, and Sam as well. How do you, how do you find them as, as coaches? Um, good, in fact, I enjoy it. Obviously, they've both played, uh, so they know what it takes. So you need to take everything, all the tips and that, that they give you on board and just apply it in training and just keep going. Does that make a difference to you, the fact that they've actually played the game? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, it's the small details that even recovery after games and stuff like that, they know what, how you're feeling, how even if you make a mistake and that, they know they've been through it all before. So they know what tips and how to how to get you back from it. How's the game been so far? Because you you've won two, lost three. Um, they've been different different sort of games. Uh, obviously, the one against Wheelstone was more physical, um, and then the one against Arsenal at the weekend was obviously they had more of the ball. But you need to get used to playing. Obviously, with the going away and that you play against different teams, so you get you need to learn how to adapt. Um, but I thought and. Most of the games, the majority of the games have played very well. I've had spells in all the games that we, we could have been more clinical but at times, but we, we'll get that with fitness and that as the season goes on. Do you think that the kind of this has been a real testing period, the games in, in this sex series or this part of the season aren't really going to be about results, they're about how you boys fit yeah. together and, and all those different aspects? So obviously try to gel as a team because there's a few new boys in that. So try to get like everyone to know how each other plays and the relationship over the pitch and just try and gel. And then kick on as the season starts. Yeah, do you think that kind of? Do you think you guys are getting there? Do you think that that system's working now? Yeah, you can see it on the training pitch, uh, even like with the boys having a laugh and that. But on the training pitch, the training's been very, very high standard. Intensity's good, and then you can see it as going on the pitch and then coming together. Everyone knows their roles and their responsibilities and that in the team, so it's good. And now a trip to Denmark. Looking forward to. I am, in fact. Yeah, um, a week away. I think we're playing three games or something. Um, so that'll be a good test to play against international teams and stuff like that, so I'm looking forward to that.